time for Timothy. Yes, boys and girls, it's time for Timothy and his friends to discover that the Americas is a big place. Hi, Kathleen. Getting a jump on a Pan American report? She probably needs to. All those sports and stuff. I'll have you know, I know plenty about sports. Besides, Maria's dad works for the Pan American Games. He gave us this brochure. Wow, is that neat. It names all the sports, wrestling, and judo, softball, swimming, archery. There are 27 sports. I counted them. Gosh, I don't know very much about some of these. Wonder what our report's going to be about. Seats, everyone. Oh, Kathleen, I see you have Senior Sanchez's brochure. Isn't it exciting that the games are being held here in our hometown? A wonderful opportunity for us and an honor as well. Miss Patience, how are we going to write our report? I couldn't find anything about the Pan American Games in Indianapolis in our books. That's right, Tim. This is only the second time the games have been held in the United States since their beginning. We will have a guest speaker, and Senior Sanchez will give us a tour of the Athletes' Village and much more. Besides, Timothy, there's something in the newspaper nearly every day. Good, Kathleen. We have a very special week ahead of us. You will be meeting many people this week, people from other nations, people who speak other languages and have different customs. Reports are due Friday. Here are the questions I want answered. One, what are the Pan American Games? Two, who attends them? Three, what unites the countries which attend them? Four, how often have they been held in the United States? And lastly, you are to write one paragraph about someone you meet this week. This person is to be a person from another country. Any questions? See you tomorrow. Hey, this is going to be easy. She already gave us the answer to number four. Miss Patience says we can work as teams in our report. Want to work with me, John? Sure. How about Thursday after school? And let's ask Kathleen, too. She's got all that stuff from Senior Sanchez. Well, okay, but you ask her. Here she comes. Hey, Kathleen, want to work on our team and write it up after school on Thursday? Okay. Look, Maria's dad gave me a poster. A Pan American poster. Good work. Today, Senorita Gonzalez will be with us. I'll let her tell you more about herself and her work with the games. Senorita Gonzalez? Buenos dias. Me llamo Senorita Gonzalez. Como esta usted? Good morning. My name is Mrs. Miss Gonzalez. How are you? I thought I might begin with some phrases that may be spoken among the athletes. After all, Spanish is the primary language of 19 of the 38 nations who will be participating in the Pan American Games this year. Gosh! Spanish! People in Europe don't speak Spanish very much. That's right, they don't. But will Europeans be competing in the Pan American Games? I don't think so. But why not? Because this is an international competition only for those countries in the Western Hemisphere. That is for the people of North, South, and Central America and the Caribbean. Why do you think Spanish is a primary language in, for example, Mexico? which is a country, in my country, just south of the United States. Uh, because the settlers were from Spain? Could that be it? Very good. They were from Spain and from Portugal, whereas many of the first settl settlers in this country were from England. Uh, Senorita Gonzalez, would you tell us what brings you to the games? Oh, I write for a Mexican newspaper. I cover sports, but I also write stories about life in the different countries. Oh, how exciting! Over 3,000 journalists will be here in your, in your city to cover the games. Do you travel much? Oh, yes. Next year, I will go to Korea to cover the Summer Olympics. Many of the athletes here this summer will go on to the Olympics. This is a very important preliminary event. You know, Miss Patience, I thought we were going to just study a sport like track. It sounds like a lot more than just a track meet. Oh, Timothy, it is. It is a wonderful chance for you to get a chance 
more, to know more about the neighbors in countries not too far away at all. This is a very exciting time for the United States. Senorita Gonzalez, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to speak with us today. Oh, I was pleased to come. After all, it is a chance for me to meet some of my neighbors and hopefully mi amigos, my friends. Adios! What are you looking at, Kathleen? You're going to be late if you don't hurry. Boy, America sure is big. Fifty states. Here's Indianapolis, right here. Everyone knows where Indianapolis is, silly. I don't think so, Tim. We know because we live here. That's right, John. Maria didn't know where Indianapolis was before a family moved here. She told me her father brought home a map. He had to show them where they were going to live. So where is she from? Brazil. Ever heard of it, Smarty? Of course. But that explains why she didn't know. She's not American. Come on. We're going to be late for the bus if we don't get going. Remember, today's the day we're going to Athletes Village. That's where all the athletes are going to stay during the games. It'll be fun. Let's get going. Don't forget, we have to find the answers to those questions Miss Patience gave us. Oh, no. Let's go. And this will be the home for the athletes from Brazil, Canada, the United States, Haiti. Oh, look at the flags. I see the stars and stripes. Whose flag is that other one? That's Canada's flag. Is anyone here yet, Senor Sanchez? Good question, Jonathan. Yes, the flags outside of the building indicate which athletes have arrived. It's still early, you know. By next weekend, all 38 flags will be flying here in the village. Boy, it's a big place. So many buildings. Well, how many athletes do you expect will be staying here? Counting athletes and their trainers, as many as 5,500. Wow! <laughs> I think they're beginning to realize, Senor Sanchez, what a major event this will be. I'm so pleased you were able to get clearance for us to tour the village today. It is my pleasure. Maria told me her friend, Kathleen, was studying about the Pan American Games. Look at him run! Boy, this is exciting! Yeah, it certainly is. At all times of the day and night, you might happen upon an athlete running or exercising. Buenos dias, Gabriela. That means good morning. I know that. Como esta usted, Senor Sanchez? Uh, Gabriela, these are some friends of my daughter, Maria. They are studying the Pan American Games in school and are here to learn about them. Oh, how nice. So you see, learning can be fun. You sound just like Miss Patience. Uh, you must be their teacher. Perhaps that is because I am a teacher too. In my own country. You are? A teacher? I didn't know teachers come to the Pan American Games. Well, I came to the games to swim. I'm a swimmer, you see. But last year, I did not teach school. I trained in order to compete here at the Pan American Games. I didn't know women were in the games. Where are you from? Panama, your neighbor to the south. Yes, there will be many women athletes here. I have to go now. I have to swim laps this afternoon. Adios. Senor Sanchez, what do you do here? I am an interpreter. At the village, you can hear several languages, Spanish, French, Portuguese, English. I am a Portuguese interpreter. What's all the noise about? Oh, good. A football game is beginning. It's not unusual to see athletes start up a friendly game. Let's go watch a little. That's not football. They're playing soccer. Oh, I forgot. Your football is different. Did you know that in many countries of the world, soccer is called football? Look at that guy. Boy, is he good. He scored! He's really great!
Another point! Yay! All right! Why are they stopping? Oh, the game is not over. Yeah, this was just for fun. I, I imagine now they're going off to start practicing for today. Some of these athletes spend eight or more hours a day practicing. Look over there. What's going on over there? There's lots of people. Look. It looks like dancers. Oh, look at their dresses. Those are the dancers from Trinidad. Another important part of the games is that the arts and culture of the participating countries are featured. It's such a wonderful opportunity to learn about life in other countries. Would you like to go watch the dancers? Oh, yes. Let's do. Throughout the day, activities such as this are scheduled. Dancing, singing, there will be art displays. The village will be a lively place. After all, it is home away from home for most of these athletes during their stay here. Oh, the music is starting. Let's go watch the dancers. Kathleen? No, I haven't. Where's Mexico? Senorita Gonzalez said it was our neighbor to the south, and I can't find it. Hmm. Let me see. Uh, there it is, Kathleen. Look how big it is. And you couldn't find it. <laughs> I would have in a few more minutes, <laughs> smarty. Now, where's Puerto Rico? Off of Florida. Remem remember Senorita Gonzalez said it was out there? There it is, out there in the middle of all that water. Look at all those little countries near it. Jamaica, Haiti, Trinidad, and Tobago. They're all in the Pan American Games, too. And there's Brazil down there. I've heard of all these places before, but didn't know where they all were. Senor Sanchez told me Cuba is only 90 miles away from Florida. That's really close. I like meeting all those people from new places. Someday I'm going to travel and see some of these countries. You are? Like, where do you want to go? Well, if I become an interpreter like Maria's father, I could travel all over the world. I want to see the jungle. Maria says they have coffee plantations in Brazil. Time to stop daydreaming. Who are you going to write your paper about? Oh, I don't know yet. I want to see who we meet at the track and field practice tomorrow. How about you? Picked anybody? Well... Maybe Gabriella, and then I might write about Maria's dad. He was really neat. Did Grandma Elsie tell you we have tickets to the games? No, did they come? Oh, goody, what did we get? Swimming and soccer. Amigos. Amigos? Amigos, get it? I'm speaking Spanish, friends. So, who are you going to write about, John? I haven't decided, but that will be the easy part. Some of those questions Miss Patience gave us are really hard. Have you looked at them? Well, my brochure tells us which countries are coming to the games. Look here, John. Tim and I were just looking at some of them. Here's Cuba, and there's Panama, and Brazil. That's where Maria lived. And there's Mexico. There's where Senorita Gonzalez is from. Isn't she a nice lady? And what about Gabriella? Gosh! I can't believe she's a school teacher. Can you see Miss Patience swimming? <laughs> we better get going. Really good. Oh look, here comes the America jumper. That's Roger Masterdon. Canada's going to win this one. Pierre is the best. Oh, too bad. Roger didn't make that one. Here goes Pierre again. Look how high the bar is. He'll never make that. Oh, oh, oh. 
He did it! All right! Did you see that? Wow! Look, Pierre is talking to Senor Sanchez. They're coming over here. Hope we get to meet him. Uh, here you are. Pierre, these are the students I was telling you about. Tim, John, Kathleen, and their teacher, Miss Patience. Bonjour. How do you do? That jump was super! Just great! I've never seen anything like that before! I I've watched you on TV. You are so good. Thank you, everyone. Today was not very good for me. It really is uh, very hot here. In my hometown in Canada, it rarely gets this hot. Good luck! Merci! Uh, how are you enjoying the practice today? It's great! Really great! And we got to meet another athlete! This is so exciting! Oh my goodness! You're not telling me that learning can be fun, are you? Uh, learning? Well, I have to get back. Adios! Adios, Senor Sanchez! This is so much fun! There's a jumper from, there's a jumper from Chile! Oh, he did it! Did you see how high he went? He was inches above the bar. Pierre's got to beat that. But, but he could do it! Look! comes Roger again. Where is he from? The program says he's from Arizona. I don't think he can do it. Well, look over there. They're beginning to line up for the 10-kilometer race. It's all women, Kathleen. Let's see. How many are there? Four. They're from the United States, Haiti, Puerto Rico, and Mexico. I don't believe it. Look at that woman. She's going to run barefoot. Barefoot? Watch her. Doesn't that track hurt her feet? Boy, she's really fast. She won. Now the gun are lining up for the two-meter dash. Look at her go! I'm going to time them. I have a second hand on my watch. Well, I'm sorry to say, but we must leave now if we're to get back to school by 2.30. Oh, I wish we could stay longer. This is really great. And I'm expecting a great report from you, Timothy. Oh, a report. We're still getting together after school, aren't we, guys? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, Kathleen? Okay, meet you at 3.30 in Miss P Patience's room. Good. Oh, look, there's the barefoot runner again. Watch her. Tim, Kathleen, Jonathan. Pierre, what a jumper! He's from Canada, and there it is! What a big country! I always thought America was big, but look at Canada! What are you doing, Tim? Look, Brazil! It's really big! And here's Canada! Pierre's from a big country, too. Well, I've decided that I want to go to Canada and Mexico. Really? A and I want to be a high jumper, too. Oh, last week you wanted to be a pilot. That was last week. Think about it. I could be in the Pan Am Games. And, and kids would write reports about me. And you would have to practice and practice. Are you sure? Of course I am. I have to go now and pick up my books. See you at 3.30, right? Right. See you then. Canada. I would like to go there sometime, too. Roger was from Arizona. That's right here in the United States. It's out west somewhere. Uh, here it is. It's close to California. This has been a fun week learning about the Pan American Games. I want you to meet my cousin, Tim, and his friend, John. They'll be here soon. Oh, good. I wanted to meet them. These brochures your dad gave me will help us with our reports. They're due tomorrow. 
Where are the boys? We have to study. Oh, do you have much more work to do? We sure do. Have to answer four questions and then write a paragraph about someone from another country. Well, oh, you could write about me. You? You're from another country, aren't you? But then, I don't think of you like that. I mean, you're like an American. But Kathleen, I am from Brazil. That's in Americas. Maria, this is John. And Tim, this is my new friend Maria, everybody. Hello, Maria. Heard lots about you. Your dad was really nice to us. He took us all over the athlete's village. Hi, Maria. Kathleen, I, I must go to the store now. I'll call you tonight. Oh, well, goodbye, John. Bye, Tim. Now get to work and get out of here so we can all go and answer the first question. The Pan-American Games happen every four years, just like the Olympics. Right, and they are held one year before the Olympics, too. It's only for countries in the Western Hemisphere. And there are 27 sports in this year's games. Have they ever been in the U.S. before? I forgot what Miss Patience said about that. This is the second time. They were in Chicago in, uh, in... In 1959. Next question. Who attends them? Athletes from the Western Hemisphere. Which, Tim, doesn't mean Europe. All right, all right. You learn by asking. This year, different countries are in the games. We can get that and the next question. Here's a brochure, John. It might help. Great. Look, we're almost done. We'll have time to play if we hurry. Have you started your paragraph about a person? Sure have. I picked Pierre. He was really great. Uh, who did you pick, Kathleen? Oh, I'm going to write about Senor Sanchez. Well, I think I'll write about Gabriella. Great! We're finished! Let's get out of here! Wait, we forgot a question. Oh no, it's a hard one, too. What is it, Kathleen? What unites the countries which attend the games? Oh, drat. That's a hard one. I don't know. John? Beats me. Unites? That means bring together, right? We're in trouble now. This report is due tomorrow. Think, everybody, think. Got it. What? what? A headache. All this thinking is giving me a headache. Patience? Well, hello. I'm surprised to find you here this late. Looks like you're really working. We are, but we're stuck. On what? Uh, one question. What unites the countries who come to the Pan American Games? We've looked through all the brochures and the maps, and I remember everything Senorita Gonzola told me in her talk. Here's a hint. Have you selected the person on whom you're going to write a paragraph? Oh, sure. That was easy. I picked the Canadian jumper, Pierre. He was fantastic. And I picked Gabriella, the swimmer from Panama. I can't believe she teaches school. Yeah, and I'm going to write about Senor Sanchez. Fine, good choices. I really must go now. But look at where these people live. That will help you. Goodbye and good luck. I'm anxious to read your reports. This has been a fun week, hasn't it? Oh, it was fun. <laughs> Until now. What kind of a hint was that? Didn't tell us a thing. Wait a minute, Tim. Let's think. Now, Gabriella is from Panama, and Pierre is from Canada. And Senor Sanchez is from Brazil. Well, like I said, some help. Let's go look at the map. We're missing something. Maybe that will help. Good idea, Kathleen. I'm glad you're in my study group. Oops, did I say that? Yes, you did. Come on, you two. Let's look at the map. Senor Sanchez and Maria from Brazil, and Pierre is from Canada. And Gabrielle, she is from here. That's down here. And don't forget Roger Masterson. He's from Arizona. So what unites these countries? They're all in the Western Hemisphere. Think that's it? Might be. What else could it be? Yeah. How are Americans like these people from foreign countries? That's it. Tim, you're brilliant. That's right, John. Uh, yeah, so how are they different but alike? I don't understand, John. Tim? Uh, you tell her, John. We're all from the Americas. Pierre, Roger are from North America. See? And Senor Sanchez, he's from South America. That's right here. 
and Gabriella is from uh, Central America. Oh, you mean we're all Americans. That's right. Gosh, Tim, you're smart. Let's go home now. Boy, I'm tired. Yeah, let's go. But John, it was the three of us. It took the three of us to figure it out. And we did it. Together, we did it. As a team. Come on, team. Let's go get a soda. <laughs>